You will most likely disagree, but Yuji Tajori's domain expansion will fail and here is why. Considering that Sukuna can now freely use RCT and his limbs are already fully regenerated, it's clear that no one other than Yuji can threaten his life, and Sukuna even said that if he manages to avoid soul seizing punches and soul dismantle, even Itadori won't be able to achieve much against him. So the domain expansion brought the hope in fandom that Sukuna can still be defeated, but I believe Gege has been hinting that Sukuna won't be going down like this. But before that, only 1% of people who always watch my videos are also subscribed to the channel. So what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and become a permanent otaku. If you have been regularly watching my videos, then you know that I've been saying for a long time that Itadori's domain expansion was incoming, and I even made some predictions about how it would look and work. However, I really did not expect it to manifest as a train station. Looking at this panel makes me wonder if it's actually Itadori's domain or if it was meant to be a completely separate scene. Because if you recall the very first page of chapter 236, it looks exactly the same as Gojo and Geto. So it's possible that this train station panel is meant to show conversation or something like that between Yuji and Sukuna. Because if it's actually how this domain expansion manifests, then I'm kinda confused. We know that typically domain expansions, assuming Yuji has a normal one and not the unique one, are manifested through the user's curse technique. So how your domain expansion looks is very tightly connected to what your curse technique is. We know that Yuji has blood manipulation curse technique and he recently awakened the shrine technique, but he's obviously not casting malevolent shrine here. So what I'm thinking is, if this panel actually shows Itadori's domain, then maybe it's related to soul seizing punches or the soul itself rather than the shrine, since that has always been Itadori's thing throughout the entire series. This theory is further convincing to me because just before the domain scene, we saw Sukuna claiming that he could dodge Itadori's soul seizing attacks, and we also saw the comment that inside domain, curse technique imbued within a domain is guaranteed to hit. So if this domain is not shrine manifestation but Itadori's innate soul seizing patches, however I'm not sure if this can be considered a curse technique, then it all makes sense. Imagine a barrage of attacks aiming at hitting Sukuna further weakening his control over Megumi's body. Plus, Yuji looks suspiciously happy when he's talking to Sukuna, and I could come up with two possible explanations. Either Yuji is happy because he finally sees the way to achieve his goal, which is saving Megumi, or he has already defeated Sukuna in that moment and what we see is afterlife, just like airport scene. Sukuna and Yuji's souls looking alike also makes sense since it's been mentioned many times by many people that those two are closely connected. So Itadori's domain could directly be connected to soul and inside of it clash happens between souls and not between bodies, if it makes sense. However, on the other hand, we already know that the shrine technique Itadori uses is not the copy paste of Sukuna's. It underwent pretty noticeable changes and while it being close range attack is definitely huge nerf, it being able to target the border between Megumi and Sukuna's souls is a huge advantage. So it's possible that this is Itadori's version of Malvol and Shrine, but we will see that soon enough. Now, the most important thing. I'm 99% positive that Sukuna won't be dying inside Yuji's domain. I will even go farther and say I'm convinced Sukuna won't die in Megumi's body. It was hinted several times that Megumi was actually fighting against Sukuna from within, hindering his cursed energy output. But as time passed, the fighting stopped. In chapter 251, it was revealed that Megumi is broken beyond repair, as it's been stated that any will to live had already been extinguished in Megumi Fushiguro. Despite this, the good guys have not given up on him and are trying to separate Sukuna and Megumi's souls. Now, it's possible they believe this is the most realistic way of defeating Sukuna. However, I don't think that's the whole story. I can come up with several plans myself that could have resulted in killing both Sukuna and Megumi. Plus, it's been said that eradicating Sukuna with Jacob's Ladder would result in Megumi's survival only if the connection between the body and the cursed object is weakened at that moment. So, they kinda planned everything based on that. Their goal wasn't just to kill Sukuna, but to save Megumi in the process as well. I honestly don't think a character as important as Megumi Fushiguro will be removed from the story just like that. 
Kage Akutami has given screen time in current arc to even minor secondary characters, who were absent for a long time. Who could have imagined Miguel or LaRue joining the fray against Sukuna, or Miwa jumping inside Sukuna's domain to shield Maki from slashes. Kage loves to use every single character he has created to their fullest potential, and Megumi's potential backstory and character are still unexplored and undeveloped. He never got the chance to truly shine and I believe Gage will fix that. So perhaps Yuji's domain can not only target Sukuna, but Megumi too. What if Yuji saying to Sukuna let's go, means they are going to meet up with Megumi, and we will see like a 2v1 of Yuji and Megumi against Sukuna. There are many possibilities and it's really difficult to predict how the story will develop. But I know one thing for sure, Megumi Fushiguro is definitely coming back and Yuji Itadori will grow even stronger. The only way for Megumi to return is to weaken Sukuna's control over his body that much. The King of Curses must have no other choice but to abandon Fushiguro's body. We already know that Sukuna has the Curse Merger at his disposal, and if he manages to use it as his vessel, Megumi's body could become free. In Chapter 258, Kusakabe mentioned that Sukuna operating his technique in Yuji's body allowed him to gain an exceptionally quick understanding and growth, because his body remembers using extreme special grade Jujutsu. So we can assume that Megumi's body has undergone similar changes. Considering Sukuna has used Fushiguro as a vessel for much longer and in more intense battles than Yuji, it's clear that Megumi could gain even more from this than Itadori did. Keep in mind, when I said Tsukuna has used Ushiguro's body longer, I meant he has been controlling it longer himself. Yuji was a vessel for a longer time, but Tsukuna rarely got a chance to control it. Due to this, the experience Yuji's body gained was limited. By that time, Itadori will most likely have received another power-up and displayed his full potential, possibly with Furness in his arsenal. So a team-up between Megumi and Itadori could definitely rival Sukuna, who's now inhabiting New Tengen's body. I honestly can't think of a more epic final battle than peak Yuji and Megumi fighting against a fully healed Sukuna. As a huge Itadori fan myself, I'd love to see Yuji 1v1 Sukuna, but let's be honest, current Sukuna that regained RCT and is almost fully recovered is much stronger than Itadori. Sukuna can freely use Hollow Weaker Basket to counter Domain Shua Hit effect, and he will still be able to use Curse Technique. Plus, with his hands regenerated, he should be able to use World Dismantle now, which won't be as easy to tank as normal slashes. So, realistically, I think Yuji's domain will be designed to counter Sukuna. Maybe it will create some kind of clash of souls where Megumi will also participate. And once Sukuna's control over Fushiguro's body is weakened, Sukuna will use Curse Merger to create his new vessel. This will give us one last final battle that will be so epic that it could potentially rival Gojo vs Sukuna. This is one of the possible scenarios I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or not. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more JJK content. Until next time, keep reading, keep exploring and stay otaku.